Do we run now? Oh yeah, we scoured the internet to find you the best content for this week's episode of Super Happy Internet Fun Time. Now can I have that chocolate milk I was talking about? All right, what's up everybody? It's Billy Z. We are back for another episode of the Super Happy Internet Fun Time. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Crowd effects for you there. I didn't want you to be the only one that sounds stupid. No, that yeah, that was that wasn't stupid in any way, form, or fashion. But tonight we do have another special guest with us. It is Steezus. Did I say that right? Yeah, you did. Don't worry. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm actually quite impressed. Because normally, it's, I've, I've heard I've had was it the Zeus uh, <laughs> stuff like that. It's just, how yes. how is it so hard to come to say it's Steezus? Well, I think of I think of Jesus, and then I that think is of you. Pretty much that is pretty much what how it all came to be. I was it. Was was at uni, a load of my friends going, it's Jesus Christ, and it stuck. <laughs> nice. So go ahead and uh, go ahead and explain what your, your channel is. Tell the people, you know, who you are, kind of what you do, and um, how awesome you are. Well, that's going to be hard, because I have no idea who I am. I have no idea what I do. And I just sit there playing games. Well done. Nice. All right. <laughs> Informative. <laughs> I play games and hope to entertain people. That's about as good as I get. Well, it's, I think that's kind of what we all do here. Um, <laughs> but as as always, you heard uh, Player 2, Lunchbox. Hi. Hey. hey. And we have the midget ginger kid, uh, Jim. Hola. Oh, my God. <laughs> bunch, of, bunch of damn clowns in here. <laughs> it's only going to end well. <laughs> So, all right. So tonight we have a topic that we've we've kind of touched on in some of the, you know, different shows that we've had where we we kind of break down the segments of this topic, and it's we've we've gone into subtopics of it. But tonight we're going to talk about people, people as a whole. So I think the general consensus is people hate people, right? Yeah, people. What a bunch of <laughs> bastards. People. People. <laughs> Why do I begin? Well, exactly. And I mean, there are so many different types of people. There are so many different things that just piss me off so bad. And I mean, the first thing I want to bring up tonight with people as a whole is just like you know there are some dumb people okay and it, it it's just you can never classify how dumb somebody is because it's just like all the time that they just don't get it you know no i'm, I'm with you on that one it's um amount of times i've sort of seen people like they say something but they they see they in their mind it's brilliant and you just look at them going did that really just come out of your mind because <laughs> they're like a part of you just kind of thought you know what well, we won't bother filtering that. You want to put that story out? Go for it. So are you the type of guy that do you filter what you say or do you uh, just kind of let it roll off the tongue as you think it? I'd like to think there's no filter, but I'm sure there is somewhat, something somewhere. There, there are certain times where I don't filter myself and I, uh, you know, Lunchbox and Jim, you guys probably can attest to this. Um, I don't really care what people think about me and I don't filter myself and I just let let it go. <laughs> let it go. Let oh, it God. go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Somebody kill me now. <laughs> so I have to say I hate that song in every form and fashion because I oh, do not because I'm gonna sing it even more. <laughs> I'm gonna not air this episode. <laughs> but but I hate that song because I have a three-year-old daughter that um, when that stupid movie came out, it was, you know, that damn song was nonstop. Yeah, I know the feeling. I've got my niece is three years old, so it's I constantly have her wanting to sing Frozen and such. It's always entertaining for me. You know, I, I do got to say, um, Lunchbox can sing it perfectly to a T. I, uh, I have I feel to like that's these golden pipes. <laughs> Go, just just go, lunchbox. No, absolutely not. He's... In the words of Arnold Schwarzenegger, do it now. <laughs> nope. You're like a mixture of Fergie and Jesus. It's just beautiful. I'm Figus. <laughs> Figus. 
You're like Stevis. You know what? I think about Stevis. I'm thinking like a sneezing Jesus. That's all I can keep thinking of. Just Jesus sneezing. I don't know. Oh, that one's old as well. Sneezes. It's, yeah. All I can think about is the staph infection, Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. This is totally going in the wrong direction. <laughs> and to people to just sort of insulting my name. Brilliant. <laughs> Well, you you sang the song. You brought it upon yourself for this one. No, I'm not bothered with that one. I know, I'm, <laughs> I'm the worst kind of person. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, Lunchbox and, and Jimbo, feel free to chime in here, but people are so different. And, you know, kind of like the whole, you know, um, the legalizing gay marriage here in the States is... Um, awesome right and and i'm fully in support of it but the amount of people that hate it is is dumbfounding to me yeah and well the thing that gets me is the amount of people that like glorify not just talking about you know gay marriage or anything like that but like glorifying a cause but have no fucking idea what the cause is about that drives me absolutely insane they take this moral high ground about you know something and they have no fucking idea they're like oh i thought it was like a keg stand or something that, was, uh, that drives me nuts about people well get what give an example of that um what i can remember is did we lose you jim i was gonna say was that me or was there uh did he just go die on me? he he died i think so jim died we'll we'll continue without jim being alive he took the moral high ground. <laughs> but he can remember. Moral high ground is not. <laughs> He's like, fucking him out. But, okay, but in all seriousness, you know, like, I, I'm not gay. I, I don't ever anticipate being gay. But it doesn't affect me if they if gay people want to get married. And that's what I don't understand. What what does it matter to you? Why does it upset you? Why do you care? Is Is my point. Yeah, I'm completely with you on that one. When it's the amount of times I've seen, especially recently, it's, it's been flooding Facebook and that. It's people going sort of, it's a massive thing. I mean, yeah, don't be wrong with the fact that it's being legalized over there now is fantastic. I mean, it's over here. I'm not sure if, I'm not entirely sure if it's legal to be married over here, but I know they can be what's called a civil partnership. Same thing, different name, but for, uh, basically. Well, we've had, I mean, civil unions for a while. Mm. But it's the actual word marriage now that they can, you know, benefit from tax brackets and all that, you know, yeah. different stuff. But it's like, who cares? Why Why do you get upset that, you know, the biggest, the biggest thing I hear is like religion. Religion is, my God says we can't, you know, homosexuality is bad. But who oh, cares? Else, I can pick so many holes in religion, but I choose, I want, but I'm going to. Pick a high ground and choose not to. <laughs> I'm going to choose the moral high ground and say, nope, I don't need to. But no, I fully agree. And it's like, oh, my gosh. You know, I got into some debate with this this guy I used to work with. And it was like, hey, dude, t- answer the question of what bugs you about it. Why, why do you care and why do you feel like you need to be this upset about it and he's a younger guy which you know he's he's my age and it's just like i don't get it no i'm i'm with you on that list i'm going i'm sort of trying to choose to go but not go back to it but i'm gonna have to with the religion bit there's i saw something on facebook earlier so a person i know posted it they're trying the, the town i live in in the uk nottingham they're trying to start a petition to stop building a mosque and my way of looking at it is why we i mean, you, you know we're we're a christian country over here but we, no one goes to the church if someone wants to build a religious icon which they're more they, they will go to why stop them yeah exactly it, it's you. but it's that kind of fallacy that it, it bugs me about people and it, you, yeah. can, you can relate it to religion um politics. my right is better than your right because i know better exactly and, and that's part of the issue that I have with um, 
you know, you want to say, quote unquote, freedom of speech here in the States, but it's not. You're just you're just objectifying and being a dickhead to people because you feel like because you're a Christian or because you're, you know, Catholic or, or whatever religion you mm. equate yourself to, you are better than the people who are gay or whatever. It, it, it just is crazy to me. What do you yeah. think, Lunchbox? I think that um, the number of atrocities or whatever that have been committed in the name of uh, religions and all that other crap, it's just its just ridiculous when you think about like the fact that Whoa. these people's <laughs> these people's lives and choices have virtually no bearing on your day-to-day life you know what i mean if that makes yeah. any sense it's no like a gay marriage who, who really cares let them marry each other and let them be miserable like the rest of us i don't care <laughs> i was just about to say if they want to be as unhappy as everyone else let them well exactly and you know but it, it is a in my opinion a step in the right direction of you know breaking down the ignorance of people and breaking down the the, the need to be better than somebody else because we're all the same we're all people you know and I, I, I I've always said to myself is just be who you want to be it doesn't matter if you're gay straight bi you know whatever it doesn't matter if you're black white Asian it, it doesn't it doesn't at all people are people we all have I our own I so hard not to break into a Michael Jackson solo just then I do I it. was singing in my head <laughs> <laughs> do it do it no i no, no I, please 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 no if i find sing anything it's going to be frozen just for you well you could do that too actually kind of funny have you guys um speaking of frozen have you heard the um uh the do you want to build a snowman you remake want meth lab? yes dude i love that so much i don't know why it is just so awesome <laughs> i've watched the first half of frozen and i've watched one season of um breaking bad and that's all i've watched of, of both of them and i love that song well why are you not watching the entirety of breaking bad i just struggled to get into it when i started watching it <laughs> oh my gosh there is there is a point in that when he just turns into a complete badass I mean, but, the other half got me into Sons of Anarchy, Game of Thrones, but I'm just choosing not to. I'm just, I've made a, <laughs> I've made a stand. I'm not watching that. <laughs> you might as well just stop having sex then. Hey, Jim, welcome back. You, hey, um, sorry. I want to talk about your moral high ground. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's very small. <laughs> That's what she said. I have a yes, she does several times. I do have a real question though. Does all British TV suck? Because most of it that I've seen is terrible. <laughs> oh my god! Real 90% question. Ninety percent of it, yes. Ninety percent of it, okay. When you got mm-hmm. stuff like EastEnders and all stuff like that, then yeah, it's really bad. But every now and again, you get the odd gem, i.e., Top Gear, and then the presenter punches his I, producer. Top Gear's like all top- right. I cannot stand uh, uh, Doctor Who, and everybody's gonna hate me. But Doctor Who and like Downton Abbey and shit, ugh, just Downton Abbey never got, never got into it. The new, um, what's it called? Um, Doctor, yeah, the new Doctor Who's, say the new ones, the more recent ones. I watch them because they're like a cult thing over here. We sort of have to watch them. If you don't watch it, you just not one of us. <laughs> <laughs> so hey i got a question for you steez can i call you steez steez nuts yes yeah, steez steez no bad whatever you want to call me steez nuts um so li- coming from nottingham are you a big robin hood fan <laughs> yes I, I very frequently run around in green tights and uh, try to rob people do you is that like so would the um kevin costner version of Robin Hood, or would you say like the uh, Men in Tights version? Which one? Which one more accurately describes Nottingham? I'd say Shrek. <laughs> Shrek. <laughs> Lots of green ogres. The occasional person trying to break into song. That's about it. Cause it's dull. <laughs> Lunchbox, where are you at with my quote, buddy? I said you. Sorry. Because it's dull, you twit. It'll hurt more. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh my god 
Not the gumdrop buttons. All right, so perfect topic on people, guys. Well done. Please note no sarcasm in my voice. We're going to move on to our second topic. Truth or troll? All right, so this one's pretty funny. Are you guys ready for it? Yeah, I don't see why not. It comes from Yahoo Answers. And as always, a gold mine. Okay. So this one is, how would I write with my own blood? <laughs> <laughs> the, the problem isn't getting the blood. I can't think of a way to make it neat. I've seen special pens and everything, but is there a simple way with using stuff from home? <laughs> this one comes from... What if ask a little emo kid? <laughs> seems to be able to do it. So I'm not going to tell you who it comes from because I think that's going to be obvious. But we'll start with our guest tonight. Steez, what do you, are you thinking this guy is truthfully asking this question or do you think he's trying to troll to get a rise out of somebody? I'd like to say troll, but purely because why would you, why would the, like, the need arise to want to write in your own blood? Unless it's like writing a threatening letter. You know, maybe, you in the Sips, the Simpsons. maybe he's a big um, Twilight fan. Could be. Okay, then truth. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you thinking, Jim? I'm thinking that I wish my grass was emo because it cut itself. <laughs> Snap! But oh, um, maybe this guy's in. You know, he's an ICP guy. He's in Saint Clown Posse, and maybe he's a like, juggalo. Oh, juggalo! That's right. I'm, I'm, how do I write my own blood? <laughs> this guy's a fucking troll. All right. What are you thinking? What are you thinking, Michael? I'm thinking troll because I don't know. It's uh, yeah. yeah. So his <laughs> his name is Qwerty. Q W E R T Y. Uh, that is the top row of the keyboard, and that to me says troll because he's smart enough to do that, right? <laughs> Never know. Mike just had his his cat running along the keyboard as he was. And <laughs> his username said not to go back to it. <laughs> nice. So I think it's a pretty resounding troll. The other one that I had was good, but I don't think I could perform it well enough. I'll read it to you, but we're not going to dissect it, okay? So it's it starts off. This one is from make this dot dot dot. It starts off. Very popular techno song. Help! They played in clubs. <laughs> I always hear the song on the radio or when I'm up in the club, but I can't find what it's called. It's all beats. One part of the song is like this. Okay, like it will get real low and slowly start picking back up and go faster as it does. It's like dun 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 or dun 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 er 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 Like this is typed out. Yeah, I've seen this one before. I remember seeing that years ago. It's like, oh, that's brilliant. I kind of wish I, I can't see I can't do it and it would have been better but all right so that's enough of set topic two we're going to go to our next one would you rather this is my favorite um and Steezus, this one isn't gross but it would well, gross suck. ones are always fun I know I know the the gross ones I couldn't find a good one that that just really spoke to me this one makes you think, and I think we'll be able to talk about it a little bit better. So this one, <laughs> we're going to change this one a little bit because it's the original question is, where would you rather get stuck for five hours? We're going to say, where would you rather get stuck for two days? Okay, so two days is, is the time to get rescued. It's stuck in a broken elevator or stuck on a broken ski lift. So we're going to start not with our guest tonight. We're going to start with Lunchbox. I'm going to say Broken Elevator. Ooh, how, wait, how, what was the time frame? Two days. So you will have to uh, poop and pee at some point. Yeah. Jeez. I don't know. I'm going to say Ski Lift just for the simple fact of the... Uh, evacuating of uh, human excrement <laughs> the uh, <laughs> the elevator would get pretty rank after a while It'd be smelling like cujo in there and stuff nice that's, what that's kind of good... what kind of elevator are we talking about are we talking like a mall elevator is like the music on or is it like one of those you know executive lighting, you know Ouch. 
Um, yeah. I'll let you decide that one. Because if it's like a mall elevator, yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, because people shit in there all the time. So, you know, they probably have like a little toilet. <laughs> Lunchbox has in his uh, house. Yeah, a little, little toilet next to the uh, call button. Nice. Nice. All How right. many levels is it, too? I mean, I got to know because I might be able to jump. I've seen Die Hard. Welcome to the party, pal. Party, pal. <laughs> 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 um, you're not going to jump, Jim. Oh, okay. Never you're mind. not, you're not going to climb the ropes like Keanu Reeves in Speed. Hey, hey, you never know. It worked. Maybe. Maybe. I could take Dustin Hoffman's head off with a uh, subway light. I that, that wasn't Dustin Hoffman, by the way. Oh, who was it? That was Dennis Hopper. That's right. Dennis Hopper, <laughs> yes. All right, Steezus, what are you saying, buddy? I love hearing the same sort of thing as, um, I can't remember his name now. It's the other one who just spoke. The elevators. The, the, lots of them, all the ones I know, have always got sort of piss and everything all up the doors. So that won't be too bad. Wait, <laughs> ski lifts, are they like open at the back or are they just, is it just like a, a bench? A ski lift is a chair. Yeah, I know, I, know, I know what one is, but does it have like, is it open sort of at the back? So you yeah. Can just, hmm. You could probably drop trial and just, you know, squirt a little yeah. little tootsie rolls out the back. <laughs> well, <laughs> purely just because everyone else has gone with it. I mean, I'm, I shouldn't have, they haven't actually. I'm going to go with elevator just because it small, confined space, lots of smell, bad smells ever. It'd be like being back in my room. It's fine. So, I mean, for, since I changed it to two days, I don't think you could really be stuck on a ski lift because you would like freeze to death and, and die. Depends if it's a dry slope. A dry slope? What? What? <laughs> well, well, they have those They have those ski lifts at the out here in Oregon at the state fair. They have those ski lifts that go over that. You could be stuck on one of those for two days and not die. Are, those, sure. are those called ski lifts or fat people movers? <laughs> Probably fat people movers. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think they're actually called fat people movers because they don't want to walk to the other end of the fair. You can see all the sights of the people five feet below you. <laughs> yeah, dude, I remember when they put those in; they were awesome. I'm gonna say elevator because a uh, ski lift would suck. Like at least in an elevator, you can get up and walk around. You could, you know, do some jumping jacks. You could, you know, <laughs> that's a bit of uh, fitness whilst you're waiting. Oh right, and you could you could designate a poo corner of an el- elevator, whereas like on a ski exactly. lift, you kind of can't. So I agree with everybody else. All right, though. Is with with a ski lift, surely if you swung enough, the cable would snap and you'd free yourself anyway. Yeah, that's true. And you could possibly, if there's some fresh powder, just jump. So maybe I don't know. It depends on the situation. But that's gonna do it for us, guys. Steezus, thank you for last minute joining us. I really do appreciate it, man. Yeah, no dramas, man. And it's, me. it's like what two, three a.m. your time? It's just turned quarter to quarter past three. Gosh, man, you're yeah. you're a trooper, dude. <laughs> my brain is wired on caffeine, and my body is falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll be for a fun night of rest. So oh, yeah. again, thank you. And everybody listening, be sure to check out Steezus' channel. There is a annotation in the at the beginning as well as in the description. Lunchbox and Jimbo, thank you so much. I hate yeah. you. Oh, God, I hate you so much. <laughs> and as always, guys, stay classy.